Here at Midwest Barrel Company, we strive to only sell barrels that are leak free. So today I'm going to show you how the barrels are pressure checked for leaks before we ship them out. And we provided a quick handy how-to guide on how you can do this at your own brewery, distillery, or winery. So when Midwest Barrel first started, we were pressure checking uh, almost every barrel for the quality. Um, but nowadays we don't pressure check nearly as many barrels as we used to. Um, barrels with large cracks and things like that, we don't even bother pressure che checking now. We actually just turn those into de decor grade barrels. Uh, and that typically is true with bourbon, whiskey, wine, because we have tons and tons of barrels of that style, as you can see. However, we do pressure check a lot of our specialty barrels. So like these Laird's apple brandy barrels, for example, they're highly valuable. Um, they don't dump nearly as many as what a typical Kentucky bourbon distillery would. Uh, so we don't get nearly as many of these. So this is a highly valuable barrel. We'll inspect the barrel for any cracks, any places where it might leak. If we find a crack on there, then it needs to be pressure checked. And that's when we get into pressure checking uh, on these barrels. So the main method we use to pressure check barrels is to actually fill the barrel with uh, compressed air. And we do that with uh, a um, air compressor. I have this handy dandy uh, homemade bung with a pressure gauge on the top and a valve to uh, allow us to put air into the barrel and then check the pressure gauge to make sure it holds, uh, holds air. And then obviously we just need a, a replacement bung to throw in there after we're done with the whole process. Okay, the first step in pressure checking a barrel is to remove this old bunk. One way we'll know if this uh, barrel is holding pressure before we have pressure tested it, if we pull this bung out and it shoots out into the air, then we already know that it holds pressure, and that does happen quite often. So we'll pull this bung out. The next step is to uh, use my homemade valve here with the pressure gauge. Uh, basically, I just took a standard silicone bung, drilled a hole through it, uh, the air can go through the bung, and then I have a valve here uh, to open and close the, the air intake into the barrel, and then obviously a coupler to attach the air compressor, and then a pressure gauge so we can monitor uh, the pressure in the barrel. So we'll take this, we'll attach it to our air compressor here, and it's pretty simple. We're gonna stick this bung right into the hole, nice and tight. And all we're gonna do is fill this with about two PSI of, of air. And it doesn't take a whole lot. So we'll just fill it up a little bit here. And here going in. So that's about all it takes. You don't wanna fill it any more than two PSI because if you can imagine, this barrel has a lot of uh, surface area in it. Two pounds of force on every square inch or more will cause that barrel to explode. And we definitely don't want that if you put a lot of pressure under this bunk and shoot out of there also. So we'll let this sit for three, four, five minutes and monitor to make sure that it maintains uh, two pounds of pressure uh, for that time. So we'll wait for five minutes. All right, five minutes is up, and I can see here that this barrel is still holding uh, about two PSI of pressure, and so this barrel checks out and passes our pressure test. It's pretty easy to tell when you pull this bung out whether there's still pressure in the barrel, so listen closely and you'll see that this barrel does hold pressure. So, there you go. Ah, it smells so good too. That's pretty much the end of the, the pressure testing method uh, using the compressed gas. Uh, throw a new bung in there and this barrel's ready to be sent off to a brewery or distillery and filled with uh, tasty beverage. Okay, the second method for uh, pressure checking barrels is pretty simple and it's something that you guys can easily do uh, as soon as we ship the barrels to you and they show up at your brewery or distillery or your winery. Um, it basically involves drilling a tiny hole through the bung and then just listening for a pressure release um, through that hole. And that occurs because when these, this barrel shows up to your facility, it's gonna go from one uh, temperature and at atmospheric pressure to another, and that change is what's gonna cause a pressure change from in the barrel compared to what's outside. And as soon as you put a hole through that bung, you're gonna be able to hear the pressure 
uh, either exiting or entering the barrel. Um, and so here's how we do it. Basically, we just take a drill, uh, a tiny little drill bit. It just has to be long enough to go through the bung. Uh, just to be safe and we don't contaminate anything, we uh, sterilize the drill bit with some alcohol and pretty much just go through the bung. And then if you come in here, you can come in here and you can hear the pressure coming out of this barrel. Oh, it smells really good too. Uh, so this barrel definitely holds pressure. You can hear and feel the air actually escaping the barrel. Um, so this barrel will check out and it is good to fill. Uh, you will wanna take that bung out and replace it with a new uh, fresh two inch bung.